For this video, I take I-65 through the sprawling megalopolis that is Indianapolis. It was a holiday weekend when I made this video and after having to tell my friend who's 25 on the phone that Santa doesn't exist, I made a kid cry while in the line at the convenience store. The kid's parents gave me the look of death. I offered to buy the kid a candy cane scented scratch and sniff but the parents told me to run so I did just that. I know this area well and I thought it was a nice area with nice people, guess not. Nonetheless, if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like what you see here can be found in my Indianapolis playlist or in my Indiana playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We began the video in Greenwood, but now we're in Indianapolis, or what I like to call Marion County. Greenwood is a cookie-cutter suburb on the south side where you can find affordable suburban housing. Maybe not as trendy as a Carmel or a Fishers on the north side, but it's pretty decent. This part of Indianapolis, or Marion County, is like Greenwood in many ways as there's cheap cookie-cutter housing subdivisions that stretch the land for as far as the eye can see. In my opinion, at least, you don't truly get inside of Indianapolis until you get within 465, which is the beltway that circles the Circle City. There's really not too much to say for videos like this one. In the future, you can expect to find a series where I go through the entire city of Indianapolis and its suburbs where we'll get off of the highway and actually see what the city is like. I've already made a video on downtown Indianapolis and you can find that in my Indianapolis playlist which is linked below. And depending on when you discovered this video, whether it's now or in the future, you can check out my other videos that I have on Indianapolis within that playlist as well. Off to the right is a sign that says, Indianapolis, 8 miles. Even though we're already technically inside the city of Indianapolis, it doesn't even say downtown Indianapolis, it says Indianapolis. But this goes along with what I was saying earlier. In 1970, an act called Unigov annexed Indianapolis with the entire area inside of Marion County, with the exception of four communities. Those four communities being Beach Grove, Southport, which we just passed, Lawrence, and Speedway. Therefore, a lot of what is technically the city of Indianapolis looks like a suburb. I always gave people a hard time whenever I lived here, whenever they bragged about their city being the 10th largest in the country, which it was for a very short time, but that's only because the city limits of Indianapolis are much bigger than they should be. There's cornfields inside the city limits all over the place still to this day. Nonetheless, a handful of people that I met here would talk about Indianapolis like it's on the same ranks as Dallas and Houston, and they would truly believe that. These were smart people too, but not when it came to geography. When you take a look at the metro area as a whole, it's the 33rd largest metro area at the time of me making this video, which is in the same neighborhood of other markets such as Columbus, Ohio, Kansas City, and Cleveland, Ohio. It's a much more accurate example to look at the population of the metro area rather than the population of the city. Now we're within the 465 Beltway and I consider this to be the actual city, even though there's still rural impressions with a barn off to the right, along with a large open grass field. Nonetheless, it won't be long before we see the downtown skyline.
and oh yes, the mighty Indianapolis skyline. Won't be long at all before we're in downtown. Downtown Indy is the largest employment sector in all of Indiana, which it should be as it's the state's largest city. The state capital is in downtown, but sometimes that becomes an afterthought as many other towering buildings rise above the state capital. Downtown is home to three Fortune 500 company headquarters, which includes Anthem, Eli Lilly, and the Simon Property Group, which is a company that probably owns an old shopping mall wherever it is that you live. The headquarters for Steak and Shake are also in downtown, so if you ever want to send in a complaint for Steak and Shake serving you some crappy food, now you know where to send it since you watched this video. For a video that goes through downtown Indianapolis, once again you can find it by checking out my Indianapolis playlist and that is linked below. To the right, I couldn't help but notice a homeless camp, which to me was shocking as when I lived here not too long ago, I never remembered seeing one here, at least out in the open. During the crazy year that was 2020, Indianapolis saw an increase in homelessness of about 21%, making it one of the larger increases for a city for that year. Hopefully as things return to normal, people can find themselves back to work and under a roof. The stretch of freeway that I just drove is actually currently closed at the time of me uploading this video as reconstruction has been needed on that stretch for quite some time as it's an outdated design. So the next time that any of you drive it, it will look completely different than what you see in this video.
And now since we're outside of the 465 loop, we're now outside of Indianapolis, at least in my opinion. In this video, you saw I-65 as it heads through Indianapolis, and if, for whatever reason, you wanted to see that, now you have. As I enter suburban Hendricks County for a brief moment before entering suburban Boone County, I do end the video here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on my channel. Videos on places like what you saw here can be found in my Indianapolis playlist or in my Indiana playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!